Hi Vegas, say hi to the people. Hello. And what is your name? My name is Vegas Van Cartier, National Showgirl at Large, awesome. former Miss Texas at Large. Awesome. So tell us your favorite Miss Gay Texas at Large moment. Honestly, that's very hard to choose, so I'm going to give you this answer. My favorite memory is watching my sisters and the girls that I've worked with for years achieve their dream. Awesome. Awesome. Next question. On okay. tonight, we're going to ask two. Tell us. What advice do you have for a future Miss Gay Texas or Miss Gay Texas at large? Just be yourself. You know, don't go in there and think you are going to give them something they want to see. You don't ever do your package around what someone else thinks you should do. Be yourself because at the end of the day, that's all you can give while you're traveling as the next Miss Texas. Hey, Tommy, say hi to the people. Hi, everybody. So on tonight, Tommy, we're asking, what advice do you have for a future Miss Gay Texas? The best advice I could possibly give is to remain humble, don't try to do what you see other people doing, and stay true to yourself. <laughs> Say hi again to the people, Mom. Hello to the people, Mom. And you, and you are? <laughs> I'm collecting like staff before. All right, on tonight, what advice do you have for any future Mr. or Miss Gay Texas? The advice that I'd like to give any and everyone who wants to be a title holder, adjust and be willing to be adjustable. That's the biggest advice I can ever give anybody because nothing that we do, no matter how much we plan things out, no matter how things we want things to go a certain way, there's not always that possibility that it's going to be perfect. Say hi to the people. And your name is? Jessica Perez Laura, former Miss Gay Texas US Way at Large 2017. Awesome. Your first question is please give us your best or your favorite Miss Gay Texas moment. Actually, the best Texas moment was when I had the opportunity to travel all over Texas because I met so many people, so many promoters that they still work with us and they're still promoters from East Texas at large. So I believe that was the best moment ever meeting a lot of people, new faces and having a lot of new friends and new faces. Perfect. Your second question is, what advice do you have for any future Miss Gay Texas? To always be humble because that's how everybody doing. That's actually the key to have to be successful. Being humble. Holy hi to the people. Hi everybody. <laughs> Your name is Mark Anthony, Mr. Texas 2010. All right. So Mark Anthony, what advice do you have for any future Mr. Gay Texas? The advice I have for a future Mr. Gay Texas is don't forget that you're applying for a job. So the night that you win, it's not over. It's just the beginning. And you're on call and basically every weekend, every day, all the time. Don't expect a phone call every day, but it don't mean you're on the clock. Hi, people. You are? I'm a DCA Mind, Miss Texas 2015. What advice do you have for a future Miss Gay Texas? To never give up. Because it took me 10 years to win my dream, and I never gave up. So never give up. Because they will tell you not to do it, girl, you're a fool. But guess what? This fool won the pageant. Miss Chelsea. Hey Chelsea, say hi to the people. Hi people, it's Chelsea, Miss Texas, uh, 2011. Sick me, sick me. So, what advice would you have for any future Miss Gay Texas? The advice that I have for any future Miss Gay Texas, the system is now changing, so my advice would be to learn. Um, they expect a lot from you, and once you learn, just put your own little taste to it and everything will be okay. Hold on, Symphony, say hi to the people. Hello everyone. And you are? Tiffany McMichael Cray, a former Miss Gay Texas classic, and here fighting for Miss Gay Texas. Sydney, what advice would you have for any future Miss Gay Texas? Do not get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. All pushing aside, I would like to say, enjoy your ride. I actually worked my whole ride for Miss Classic, and I do want to say that I didn't get to enjoy it because I feel like I put in more administrative work to enjoy my ride. So if the Lord said the same, I'll be proud to take you to your space tonight, well, tomorrow night, and I shall have a great rain and enjoy my rain this time. Mr. Turner, say hi to the people. Hey, everybody. I'm Turner B. Collins. How are you all? And you are? <laughs> Texas U.S. Bay Classic. So the question tonight, Miss Classic, is what advice would you give to any future Miss Gay Texas? Uh, most people will try to change you. Don't change. Be yourself. Be honest. And you will go a long way with you know what? I'm doing amazing. My name is Michael Cyrus, a.k.a. Quest. I'm the former first Mr. Gay Texas in 2002.
if I have any advice for anybody that wants to compete for Mr. Texas is show up, be yourself, be confident, don't allow yourself to take against yourself because only you can ever display yourself. Your uniqueness is counted for, it's beautiful, and here we receive it. Come join our family. Hi to the people. Hi everybody. And your name is? Tyler Hayes Molly. And you are? Uh, former Miss Gay. Texas U.S. of A newcomer, former Miss Texas U.S. of A, former Miss Gay U.S. of A newcomer, and former Miss Gay U.S. of A. <laughs> All right, sickness, sickness, sickness. So, Tonica, give us your favorite Miss Texas moment. My favorite Miss Texas moment was actually about 13 years ago, and it was uh, actually here at Crystal, and it was my first time at Miss Gay Texas. Um, I unfortunately I didn't make the 12 that year, but it was a learning experience. And so it's led me to uh, where we're at now. Sickness, sickness. So your second question is, thank you for the first one. Uh -huh. What advice do you have for anyone wanting to be the next Miss Gay Texas? Uh, to just do it and to not be scared. You know, so many people will be uh, either in your corner or on the sidelines or rooting against you. And you know, the only person who can really determine your amount or volume of success is yourself, really. And that's, I mean, what generally led me here today to being here, what, 13 years ago.